Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today I'll be going over another one of my uh, casual 60 card decks. Uh, this one mostly got structured out of stuff from Keldheim, uh, working with the Giant. So and without further ado, I'm just going to go over my Giant deck with you. Uh, start off, we have four copies of Calamity Bear. He's a 3-4. If a Giant source, you Control would deal combat, uh, deal damage to a permanent or player. Deals doubles that damage to that permanent player instead. Uh, next up, we have four copies of Quakebringer. Quakebringer is a five-four. Your opponents can't gain life. At the beginning of your upkeep, Quakebringer deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quakebringer is on the battlefield or if. Quakebringer is in your graveyard, and you control a giant. Foretell for two and two. Oh, two colors and two red. Uh, next up, play set of Crystalline Giant. It is a 33 that has, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose the kind of counter that, at random, that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it among... Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and Plus One Plus One. Put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. And after that, we go over and we have four copies of Agar, the Freezing Flame. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls has dealt excess damage, if a giant, wizard, or a spell you control dealt damage to it this turn, draw a card. Then we have two copies of Basalt Ravenger. That's uh, a 4 2. When Basalt Ravenger enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to. A target where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have the same creature type. Well, they have a creature type in common, my bad. Uh, then we got a couple of solos here. We got Cyclone Summoner. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. When Cyclone Summoner enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hands, except for Giants, Wizards, and Lands. And then lastly, we have a Wanderer in here. It's a 2 2 flying as long as Wanderer is in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have flying. Just can't scoop those all up right there. Uh, moving down to our spells here. We have four copies of Fiend Lash. Uh, Quip Creature gets plus 2 plus 0 oh, and has reach. Whenever a quick creature is dealt damage, deals damage equal to its power to target player or planeswalker. We have three copies of Invasion of the Giants. Uh, first stage, scry one. Second, draw a card. Then you reveal a giant card from your hand. Oh, you may reveal a giant card from your hand. When you do, Invasion of the Giants deals two damage to target or Planeswalker. And then lastly, uh, for the third effect, the next giant spell you cast this turn costs two less to cast. After that, we have three copies of Fire Giant's Fury. Uh, target giant you control gets plus two, plus two, gains trample until that turn. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player this turn, Exile that many cards from the top of your library. Until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Then we got two Is It Signets. Quite simple. Pay one, tap it, add a blue and a red to your apple. Then we have two copies of Battle of the Frost, Frost and Fire. Uh, first effect, Battle of Frost and Fire, deals 4 damage to each non-giant creature in each planeswalker. The second effect would be Scry 3. 
And the third effect, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost 5 or greater this turn, draw 2 cards, then discard a card. For that we have 2 copies of Squash. This spell costs 3 less to cast if you control a giant. Squash deals 6 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Then we have two copies of Glimpse the Cosmos. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random or well, in any order. Uh, as long as you control a giant, you may cast Glimpse the Cosmos from your graveyard by paying one blue rather than paying its mana cost. If you cast Glimpse of the Cosmos this way, and we put it into the graveyard, exile it instead. And then, lastly here, we have two copies of Open the Omnipath. Uh, choose one, add two mana of any one color, and two mana of another color. So this mana only to cast creature or enchantment spells. Or creatures you control get plus one plus zero oh until on a turn. Uh, getting down to the lands, we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountains. Uh, seven islands. And then three copies of Hall of Storm Giant. Um, if you control two or more other lands, Hall of Storm Giant enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it out of blue, or pay five and a blue, until end of turn, Hall of Storm Giant becomes a 7-7 blue giant creature to creature with ward three, still a land. And I mean, with that, that should kind of bring this deck to a close. I hope you all enjoyed getting a little look into another one of my random decks here. Giants are kind of fun, doing their random kind of thing. But anyways, I want to thank y'all for joining me. really hope to see you in the next video. Peace.